What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap, and today we're going to test some interesting Tesla features which are Summon and Smart Summon. So this week's video is going to be a little bit more of a short and fun one. We're going to look at a cool feature that um, Tesla has on their vehicles if you have the full self-driving package. Reason being, um, I was kind of, a, still I am a little bit under the weather after getting my second coronavirus vaccine shot um, a couple days ago. Symptoms were pretty minor, just uh, had a sore arm, uh, a little bit drowsy and uh, feeling a little bit, uh, maybe a little achier than normal the first day. Last night I did feel a little bit like um, there were some temperature fluctuations, like it got chills and then it got too hot and that kind of a thing. But I'm feeling better today, still pretty strong, so eh, altogether definitely worth it, I would say. All right, so what Addy and I did, this is actually the day after I got my shot, so I was feeling well enough to go out and uh, try to have a little fun, is um, we took the Tesla Natalia out to um, a local grocery, um, grocery store parking lot in order to test out Summon and also Smart Summon. So if you don't know, these are features that are becoming more commonplace actually among sort of more premium vehicles is the ability to control your car either from a key fob or in this case from an app. So the basic feature is called Summon and this is really just to um, get the car to either move forwards or backwards so you can do forward or reverse. It is supposed to have um, some safety measures and, and to avoid hitting things, um, but I definitely recommend being very, very careful and keeping an eye and also knowing that there's a lag between um, the time that you stop telling the vehicle to move because the way it works is you uh, put your finger on the button and then it starts doing that thing and then when you let go, then um, it will stop receiving the command. But there's a little bit of a delay there, so you want to be very careful. Um, and there's another big uh, tip that I'll give you, but I think it'll be more interesting to be able to see how it works in these videos, um, and then we'll circle back to that later. Oh god, did I just use business uh, jargon? I did. Oops, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, Addy and I are going to go take the trip, and we're going to try out the basic summon feature. Dude, I saw so many Teslas yesterday. It was crazy. They are becoming more and more common. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. I saw two Model S's and uh, like three Model 3's yesterday while I was getting free electricity at uh, Eversource. Everyone else was too? Yeah, there was one Model 3 that was out there. But the, the great thing is, you know there's that Colonial Pipeline problem right now, right? So gasoline prices are skyrocketing? Yeah. Yeah. I heard a little bit about that today and I was just like, uh-oh, super awesome. Yeah, it's not great. It's a big deal, that pipeline. It's fairly smooth, it's not like too jerky. Which is nice. Yeah. Like Oops. All right. Let's go forward. And you can hurt it, so you have to be really careful not to do stupid things. So it can only go forward and reverse. I can't angle. 
Yeah, for this kind, with the manual control. It's basically like RC cars, but it doesn't do turns. Okay. It's just to get in and out of parking spots. So I'm just going to show for the camera the reverse. There we go. Okay. And then I guess uh, what I'll do is I'll put it back and then we'll do the smart summon over by the building. Okay, cool. So, so like, that should be cool. No right yeah, that would be lame. Right? Right. But I want it to like be in its spot properly before it starts. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And there we go. All right, so you can see initially, <laughs> I actually had forgotten to uh, to start filming. So we uh, <laughs> hit the record button and we were able to capture a little footage. And some of the stuff that uh, I didn't record, which I'll explain now, is kind of what's the point of this feature? Why would you want to be able to have your car move forwards and backwards? And the reason really is tight parking spaces. So if um, you've got a really tight spot, then it could be helpful to get the car to where it's kind of lined up to the spot, then you all get out, and then you hit the button to either reverse or pull it forward into the parking spot itself. And then later on, when you get back from, you know, whatever your outing is, then you can also pull the car back forward and get it back in. Now, personally though, I'm not really keen on being parked all that close to uh, other cars because, well, they're going to have the same problem, right, of, of trying to get in and get out. And so it's possible that they would, uh, you know, ding our car with the doors. So I would rather just find a different spot. <laughs> but, um, you know, that aside, did the feature work? Yes, it does go forwards and backwards, uh, work just fine. Um, but again, there is one thing to watch out for, which we'll look at uh, a little more after you see how Smart Summon works. Okay, so now we're over by the building. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna see if we can get the car to come to us. So hit the smart summon button. And it says warning, please monitor. Oh, I couldn't even read the warning, man. <laughs> it's too fast, it's too fast. <laughs> All right, but you've got the map. It says go to target. So it says press and hold to start and it's gonna get ready. Okay, so you do have to hold the button and then let go if it's about to crash something. Which so smart. we'll keep an eye out. But it pulled out fine. That's what she said. And yeah, that's what she said. Uh, I would have gone a little bit faster into the middle of the road, but this is working pretty well. Oh, good. Almost hit the bike, so. <laughs> that's yeah, it's in beta, but it did it did some of it. It did some of it. Yikes! Yeah, I would say that's a little bit of a fail, though. I would say that's a pretty large fail because it's not an itty bitty bike. No, no. If it's we like hit that thing, I would have been really, really upset. So, so as you can see, Smart Summon was able to pull the car out of the parking spot. Um, then it turned and got kind of going uh, along the way on the parking lot road. But unfortunately, as it got closer to us, the car decided to take a turn. Now, what I believe is going on here is the car is really sensitive to running into um, you, the driver, <laughs> when you're outside of the car. I've read other instances where someone was using the regular summon feature and they were in the car's path and then the car chose to divert and then hit the side of their garage. So it's really, really important to place yourself where you're not gonna be uh, directly in front or behind of the path of the vehicle. So that's what I think it was trying to do, is trying to avoid us, and so it turned, but it, it turned the wrong way. Rather than turning into the road, it turned towards the side of the road and uh, nearly, well, not that close as you can see, but it did start heading towards that motorcycle, which would have been pretty awful if it hit. So I would say overall, uh, that's a pretty severe limitation and they should, they'll probably figure that out uh, in the future. Um, so for right now, the way it is, it could probably work, but I don't know, it's just too risky given, given these little quirks uh, to really be all that useful, I would say. Uh, you really have to keep an eye on the car and you can't really trust it to do its job on its own. So overall, I would say they're neat kind of um, gimmicks, 
um, but they're really not all that useful. So uh, the regular sun I wouldn't use because again, I wouldn't want to park in such a tight parking spot anyway. Um, and then the smart summon was just, yeah, too risky still um, to, to have damage occur to the vehicle. So not worth it just yet. But hopefully over the coming weeks and months, we'll see some real major updates to the neural net so that we can have better full self-driving. And any improvements to full self-driving on city streets, of course, will also translate into the parking lot and for the smart summon feature. So I'll be looking forward to some updates on that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, do please hit the like button helps out the video on the channel. Consider subscribing as well if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you in the next video.